Manny Bishes, tis I, Chloe's, aka Manny Bish, over on Insta. Today we are just doing some nail stamping stuff. So, thanks to y'all using my code at Mannyology, I made my first tier, the pink tier, and I got an exclusive, well, I don't know if it's exclusive, a free little plate, and then some stickers, and some nail stickers, and a cute little pink pin. And we'll be using that like later on. It was like scientist vibe the uh, plate was and the nail stickers had cactuses on them which I loved. And I got my first, I signed up for this uh, a few days ago, my first Maniology in Me subscription box. So you get two colors in there and it tells you on the little card the two colors that you get in their name. And um, a like bonus situation which was these nail foils and i have not opened these yet as you can see so we're opening them together to see what we get and we've got two colors which um looking at the back of the card were a gray and a green color so these are the colors we've got um i don't remember the names of them i'm sorry um headliner and cloud something sorry uh, it'll be in the description box and then we've got two plates which are exclusive to the Manny and Me box and I really really liked these it's like kind of a glitchy like newspaper magazine vibe and I was really digging it I really like this so just so y'all know like February is not over yet you still have a chance to get this box if I um, am like correct. You s still have until the end of February to get this. It's $25 with free shipping. So I highly recommend this. I'm actually in love because it's a mystery box. So, you know, this just put me out of my comfort zone and I was just really excited about it. And, um,. I have this old blue color and it was like separated but thankfully it was uh yeah not bad and um I forgot to show you all these other ones that I got um so when you sign up for the subscription box you also get the chance to add some more mystery plates from previous subscription boxes which I did get so it was $27 for five plates and you don't know what they are it's a mystery and i thought you know what better way to add to my collection and of things that i might not normally get so these are the plates that i got and i got this christmas one i'm actually um i really like the letters i dig letters that way i don't have to hand draw them you know if i ever plan on doing them and i got this christmas one that i'm actually really excited about it comes with the faces that you can put on the reindeer yourselves and the faces for the gingerbread men that you can put on yourselves and some like layering with the snowflakes and ornaments which i thought was pretty cool so yeah i'm excited for that plate and so let's get into this so i'm going to be doing these on my right hand this pink color which this is a builder gel um I, this, the Builder Gel application and such will be in the next video. I know, kind of backwards, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out with the stamping just in case y'all did maybe want to get, um, the subscription box. Like, you could see it in use and everything before it's too late. So, I am doing these and I decided to go with this, like, I don't know what you would call this honestly I just liked the design and of course I forgot to add my sticky uh base coat we're also going to do a experiment here in a little while and see what happens with it you'll see it's uh it's gonna be interesting um but anyways so putting that sticky base coat on all of my nails um I do not think I do have a code um for maniology Clovis. um i do not think that that works on the subscription box just so you know um so there's that but if you have any other orders or anything else you might want to get that isn't the subscription box you can use code Clovis and it will get you 10 percent off 
and I would appreciate y'all because I would make a tiny little bit of money out of that order. But anywho, let's continue. So now I'm using, I'm still using that uh, gray. I actually really like this gray and with the pink, it just like was the perfect, like, I don't know. I just love it. And these are just meant to like look like some words typed out or written out. And so I'm putting those on my pinky and I'm going to, because it didn't cover my whole nail, I'm just going to um, clean my uh, stamping plate off, stamp that and swipe it again and just add more letters at the tip of my nail. So that way my whole finger nail is covered. And I will say that something that I thought, like I tried and figured out that actually worked really well is to literally not sit there and think and dwell on if the polish is getting into every crevice and the angle of the stamp, just do it quick, like quick, okay? Just put your polish down, swipe that card across it like super fast and then place that stamp right over top and pick that baby up and I got a perfect image and I don't know how it just worked really well. So here's where our science experiment comes in. <laughs> it's not science, I guess, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to take this color because I liked that it kind of looked like ink a little bit. And I'm going to clean the back off with um, some alcohol. And I'm going to apply another layer of the sticky base. Now, I just like had some wheels turning and I was like, it's a sticky base. Like maybe this will work. I did let it, I did try to let it dry. Um for a few seconds before going in with this. Um, I think I will actually try this again and just like actually see if it will stay, if it is completely dry, like had multiple minutes to dry, at least two. Um, but it didn't work because it was, it was still kind of wet and it just, it didn't work. You've seen that it kind of wanted to stick, but it just didn't stick the way I needed it to. So that experiment was uh, debunked, it didn't work for me today. Maybe it will later on. Um, so I put on my Beatles foil gel, cured that for two minutes. And while I let that cool out of the lamp, I'm going in and doing another stamp. I applied my blue on the part that I wanted to be blue. I applied my gray on the part that I wanted to be gray. Again, swiped it real fast, picked it up real fast and I got my two-toned colored stamp without any fuss. So now we'll go back in and do our um, foil paper situation, sticking that in, rubbing it in. Um, this also like wasn't the perfect and best lay down, but I actually didn't mind that because with the whole vibe of it being like magazine, um, flyer, newspaper-esque that we were going with here and like writing theme, I liked that it had a few pieces missing because it made it look more rugged. And I'm actually going through with my little um, cuticle cleaner here and actually trying to scrape and just um, a little bit more off to get it to look even more distressed. And I actually really liked that. And it, I don't know, I liked it. I thought it looked, it, it tied in and it kind of just looked like ink and distressed, messed up kind of situation. Then I'm going through, still using that gray, picking up a banner um, guy, and we're gonna do some letters. Now I was actually pretty excited about this. Um, I couldn't think about, I knew I wanted to use the letters, but I couldn't think about what I wanted to do at first. So I picked up um, some N's and O's. Luckily they were on the same row. And I'm gonna just be putting no, no. And I thought, well, I could just leave it as no, but I feel like the rest of my nail is naked. So what else can I do? And so I'm picking up another little um, border guy here, headline border. And I am going to put that more at an angle underneath this one that we already have going on. And I am going to make it say no way because why not? That's my attitude. No way. I have a shirt that says, how about no? 
I love that shirt. Speaking of, I don't even know where that shirt's at. It's been a while since I wore it. I need to find it. But, um, again, the W and the Y were on the same row. Picked those up, placed them down, went back in for the A. I will say on the letters, some of them there's only one, um, style of letter, but then some of the letters have two styles. So, like, there were two N's. I think there was, like, two c's or d's but then like there was only one a one z i don't know i don't know what made them like decide what letters got to and what letters didn't but yeah and so now i'm going in with my gel base coat and i knew that i wanted my pink nails to be matte but when it came to this guy right here i wasn't sure so i'm going in with my glossy top coat on all of them from Maniology, or not Maniology, Manny Boss. These Manny names just get me confused from Manny Boss. So I did my Manny Boss gel base first. Now I'm going in with my Manny Boss gel top. I always go in with a gel top, even if I am going to go in with a matte top coat, because having a smooth surface does help the matte come out more smooth and seamless. So I like to do that. So did my gel base cured gel top cured now here i'm like uh i skipped the middle finger i was like you know what i'll leave it glossy and so i skipped that one going on to my other nails then you'll see that i changed my mind we did go matte i like it glossy this black foil ink situation and i do think it would have like looked good even being the only glossy nail but there was something that I was like, let's just try it as matte and see what happens. Like, see if it still gives the same, like, color shift vibe even being matte. And so that is what I did. And I gotta say, I still like it. I think it came out really good and you guys are fixing to see it. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, like, flyer magazine newspaper-esque Manny. I actually really like it. And this isn't something that I would have gone on the website and been like, oh, I want this plate. No, but it was sent. I wanted to try it. I wanted to show y'all the February box and here it is. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bishes!